guys, it's me Jenna with the White Witch Parlor and today I want to cover the magical herb known as lavender. It's one of the witch's best herb to be using, especially when you want to promote peace and tranquility in your life and you want to enhance your dreams and psychic awareness. Lavender is definitely one of those beautiful herbs to incorporate into your practice and it smells amazing as well. It's such a calming scent. It just puts you right at ease. That's why it's used in so many bath products. It's just something that really makes you feel clean and good about yourself and relaxed. And it's a wonderful way to incorporate blessings into your spellcraft or meditations. Speaking of baths, in the 16th century, prostitutes were actually tied to the use of lavender because they used to bathe a lot of their laundry in lavender water to carry that scent that was soft and feminine and the scent would be known to lure in or attract male suitors or male customers making this herb long associated with the energy of love they say that it calms the waters of the spirit so if you have a lot of anxiety or just a restless spirit in general it's a really good herb to incorporate into your daily life it helps you to release fear or doubt that may be plaguing your mind and it helps to open up your heart to that energy of love. Lavender entices one to dig deeper into that subconscious thought and that's why it makes it such a powerful herb to incorporate into your dream work or if you're trying to get better with astral travel or astral projection. If you're trying to work with lucid or vivid dreaming, you'll notice that lavender really helps to calm that anxiety of the mind and during your waking life, when you fall asleep, a lot of those thoughts start to plague your mind. So when you use lavender, either by making a sachet of it or turning it into a lotion or just breathing it in in a meditation before you go to bed, you'll notice that your mind's a little more clear and calm and this will help to bring those messages forth that you're trying to tap into through the use of lucid dreaming or vivid dreaming. Because it is purple, it does work with our third eye chakra, which is tied to our intuition and our psychic abilities and foreseeing the future and really getting a clear understanding of what it is our path is leading us on. So this is why it's so great to incorporate this with working with cleansing your crystals. If you want to create a lavender water to bathe your crystals in, especially crystals associated with your third eye psychic awareness and uh, psychic visions, use things like amethyst and any other stone that is going to vibrate with you to help you enhance your psychic abilities. By bathing it in this lavender water, you're not only cleansing it of any other impurities it might be carrying energetically, but you're cleansing the stone and renewing it with this intention of calming your emotions, calming your anxieties, your thoughts, and you're quieting your mind so that your subconscious can come forth. You can even in a meditation leave some of these stones or crystals on a bed of lavender. So if you only have clear quartz, put it on a bed of lavender buds and you might notice it kind of incorporates or enhances the energies of psychic protection and awareness. Some practitioners like to toss lavender into an open flame or bonfire to entice the spirit realm so that they can open that door and invite them in. Because lavender is a herb of love, it also distracts and turns away any evil or negativity that may be lurking. So when you're opening yourself up to the spirit realm, you're only opening yourself up to the benevolent spirits who are there to help and guide you. And it's also useful if you want to protect yourself against the evil eye. It does correspond to the element of air, so anything that is going to make you feel whimsical and just going with the flow, it's a really great thing to incorporate into your practice if you want to use incense of lavender. It's even more powerful because it is tied, the smoke is tied to the element of air, and if you're using lavender also, which is tied to the element of air, you're really going to pull and draw in that beautiful elemental energy. For planetary correspondences, it's tied to Mercury, and for your zodiac correspondences, it's tied to Virgos. 
So if you're working with any of these elements in your spells or want to enhance anything in your life, if you're a Virgo, try incorporating some lavender into your life. You might find that it is helping you calm down, help you stick to your routines and schedules, and it's just a really nice way to soften any energies that are around you. There's quite a list of magical properties that lavender is associated with, and some of them include meditation, clairvoyant enhancement, any kind of divination or psychic reading. If you mix it with the um, resin of myrrh or frankincense, it enhances your magical spells and practices. It works with healing, love, offering a peace of mind, creating tranquility in your life and getting rid of anxiety or stress. It works with harmony and it gets rid of grieving if you're going through really rough times or if a loved one has passed. It really helps calm your soul and open up your heart to welcome more love back into your life. It's wonderful for blessings or dream work, creativity, rituals, Anything that you want to do to have soft energy welcomed into your sacred space or practices, I really encourage you to use the magical herb of lavender. Holistically, it can really help with headaches and sleep. So if you have a child who's having a lot of nightmares or just having issues with getting into a groove of things and having anxiety over a lot of stuff, try making a little lavender sachet to put in their pillow so that they can smell it at night. Spray their pillow with a lavender spray. You can try so many different things that are holistic and really helpful. You can try burning some oil or diffusing some lavender oil in your space or sacred space and you will notice that there's just a much calmer environment lavender really brings this happiness to our hearts and it will this calm energy will just make you feel better about everything in general so if you are going through a stressful time just try incorporating lavender into your life some people even make tea out of it you want to be careful with how strong the tea is that you make because lavender can get really potent really fast so some teas out there even have like a mix with chamomile and lavender which are both really soothing and calming and it's a really nice effective way to naturally cure your ailments and your stresses so lavender really does a lot, but the key word with lavender is relaxation. They use it in beauty spells, in love, and it's just a really peaceful herb. So you wanna remember those key words when you're working with lavender. You wanna respect it. You wanna know that the color does vibrate with the third eye, so of course it does help with any psychic development and work that you're doing or divination work but you want to respect this herb because it is really a nice, gentle energy that you always want to invite into your life as much as you can to keep your emotions stable too. So this feminine herb and energy that it brings will really enhance your life in many different ways and the only way you'll ever know is if you try it. So try to incorporate some lavender into your life and you will find yourself kind of beaming with this new calm beautiful energy and other people around you might notice it as well so i hope you guys like this video if you did you can give it a big old thumbs up you can also sub subscribe to my channel and you will get more videos like these if you guys like my herbal educational magical witchy videos and i will make more of these in the future i love you guys so much have a beautiful and blessed week bye